and we're gonna continue the journey towards South Kalimantan. Let's get to it and let's get back on the road. It's gonna be a good day. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> my god, Machen, you're doing such a good job! This was actually gonna be the capital of Indonesia. I don't even know if it's polite to say that. <laughs> good morning, guys. It is another beautiful day here in Pangkalanbun in central Kalimantan. And this morning, it's time to continue the journey. Machen is fully packed, locked and loaded. I am back in my office attire and today we're going to a city called Sampit. So I've had an incredible stay here in central Kalimantan at Grand Kejibun Hotels. If some of you guys are the staff from Grand Kejibun Hotels, thank you so much guys. I've really really enjoyed staying here. I hope to see you all again. So guys, let's get back on the road and we're gonna continue the journey towards South Kalimantan. Let's get to it and let's get back on the road. Whoa. It is actually only 30 degrees right now. It's 10 past 9, but I'm telling you, it feels like it is 38, 39. It is so hot. Let's do it. I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. The first few seconds back on the bike, feeling the wind. All is packed and you're ready for a new adventure. It is the best. <laughs> So the GPS is saying 234 kilometers today and it's saying four and a half hours and we all know that is not correct. So I think we're looking at at least six hours of riding today, but I don't mind because I haven't been on the road for a while, so I am ready. Hey, my God, much and I missed you. I missed you so much. Oh. Ah, ha, ha. The ear chasm. Thank you so much. Bangalanbun and Kota Manis. We have had a great stay here. <laughs> Bangalanbun. You know, I almost can't believe it. In just four more months, I will have been on the road an entire year. It is just crazy. <laughs> I don't understand it. And the last hour, guys, I have just been driving with palm oil plantations on both sides. This area must be, I see so many lorries as well. It must be like a dedicated palm oil plantation area. There's like palm oil everywhere. So much, you know. You hear so much about it before you come here. Oh, there's a lot of palm oil. So much palm oil in, in Borneo. It's so bad. But you don't understand it until you see it here with your own eyes. Or at least for myself, I didn't. It's so much. It's on such an insane scale. But, you know, at the same time, we also have to remember that it's creating jobs for a lot of people out here. So yeah, basically guys, before you hate too much on palm oil, I want you to remember as well that the country is making a lot of money from it and it's creating a lot of jobs. At the same time, it's killing so much forest, which is horrible, you know, but uh, it's... Ah, Susa, Susala. Uh, you know, it's not a proper day on the road without a little bit of off-road. Otherwise, Machan, he just gets upset. Right, Machan? Yeah. yeah. I don't feel any bumps at all, even though I can see them in the road. Machan's suspension is handling it so well. Such a good bike. My God, Machan, you're doing such a good job. But just as I had complimented my KTM, something happened for the very first time on my entire journey. So guys, I have been stopped here by the side of the road for one and a half hour now. 
because this is the first time I'm trying something went wrong with the bike. So I was driving out here on the highway, right? I still have around 80 kilometers to go to some pit. Suddenly my clutch got very loose. And just so you know, at Monkey Work Garage, we have installed a small extra spare part that makes it easier for me to shift in and shift out. And it seems that one of the bolts have gotten loose. It was not a go good bolt, I think, so we couldn't get it really tight around the clutch. So we, we couldn't, yeah, clutch in, clutch out. Anyway, now these three guys, and now Fal from Monkey Work Garage and Omhendra from Monkey Work Garage have been on the WhatsApp call together now for over an hour trying to figure it out. So, uh, fingers crossed. If this works, they are in for a hefty chip. <laughs> hey, it's working! <laughs> It was simply one bolt that had gotten loose and the tools I have, they were not strong enough to tighten the bolt. So I need to get new tools. They probably won't accept it, but I'm giving these guys tips. Bro, terima kasih ya. Thank you. No, no, no. Yeah, I insist. Makasih ya. Terima kasih ya. Thank you, bro. Makasih ya. Terima kasih. Thank you so much, yeah. Okay, selamat sampai tujuan. God bless you, yeah. Sampai ketemu lagi. Sampai ketemu lagi. And this is why I'm never afraid to travel alone in Indonesia, because there are always orang bikes out there ready to help a stranger in need. And as the afternoon was setting, we were on our way to our final destination for the night, and I was then suddenly waved off the road, where I got to meet some very kind Central Kalimantan Daya people. Okay. Hello, guys. Ya, halo. Kalian siapa? Kami dari Laman Tengah. Dayak. Ya, Dayak Kalimantan Tengah. Siap. Uh, nah, ini tato ini dari persatuan kami Dayak. Ya. Thank ya. you, Mister. Thank you, Mister. Engkau Denmark. Oke, Denmark. Oke. Oke. Thank you guys. Terima kasih ya. Okay. See you. Terima kasih ya. Thank you. Hati-hati di jalan. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Terima kasih banyak ya. See you guys. And after a long day. Martin and I then set course for some pit, where a most spectacular morning view was waiting for us. checked into a decent hotel called Vivo Hotel. I got the perfect parking for Machan outside. And today, I'm so tired. You know, if there's one thing that's really important on this trip, based on my experience, is that you really have to listen to your body whenever it tells you it's tired. So today, I went down, had breakfast, then went up again, slept for another two hours. I can still feel, you know, my body's still quite tired. So now I'm eating a little bit of early lunch and then I couldn't really find any special places like here to visit in Sampit that I haven't already seen. Uh, so 20 minutes from here, there's an off-road track. So I'm thinking to take my chance, go out to the off-road track and just have a bit of a day off, you know, and, and, and yeah, practice some of my off-road skills. So let's get to it. <laughs> Very small track. See this? Ah, nice. Oh, level sand. Oh, level sand. <laughs> ah, yeah, come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, this feels so bloody good. I am telling you. Ah. Ah. Sand, sand, sand. Ah. Oh. Alright guys, proper good two hours out here on this dirt track. I'll make sure to put the location down here 
so you guys know where it is in case you want to try it out. There's a lot of good hills. Machin did great. I'm tired, I've run out of water, so we better head back. Good job, Machan. Thumbs up. Oh, Machan. <laughs> it's hot. All right, guys, it is time to hit the road again. I got a little bit of late start today because, yeah, for some reason it just took me longer to pack and I've been talking a bit here with the guys outside while I've been packing. So today I'm going to Palancaraya and we have 225 kilometers to get there, around five and a half hours with stop. So we got a long day ahead of us and it is a hot day today. So let's get to it. Thank you so much, guys. And this is the manager, Pat Fano. Thank you so much, Fano. All the best, yeah? Thank you. See you guys. Take care, yeah? If you guys ever come to some pit here, this is without a doubt the place to stay here at Vivo, Hotel Vivo, some pit. All right. Sampai ketemu lagi, yeah? See you. Take care, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. Currently, the GPS is saying four hours and eight minutes. But yeah, with stops, it's gonna be at least five. But let's see. Oh yeah, depends on what we find on the road today. Oi, I almost killed a kitten. That was way too close. Whew, thank God. So the thing I really have been enjoying driving here in Kalimansan is driving alongside these rivers. In Kalba, I drove a lot of kilometers alongside the Kapuas River. And you know, one day when I buy a house for myself here in Indonesia, I would really, really love to buy a house next to a river. You know, where you have the view over the water, or maybe even the sea, you know? It's just the sound of the water and the animal life, the birds around, the water is just, ah, it's so calming. I really enjoy it, you know? I mean, look at this. <laughs> and with nothing but long straight roads ahead of me, I continued further east, under the sun. And here I found the bargain of the day. All right, guys. So, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm gonna try and show you, but I got so tired of running out of snacks. So now, I bought a whole lot of snacks and put them on the back. Can you believe it? Like two and a half kilos of bananas was only 15,000 rupiah. That's just crazy. That's like one dollar for two and a half kilos of bananas. And they taste great. <laughs> and it looks kind of cool too. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go. But I, however, realized that it might not be the greatest idea to consume it all by myself, which led me to an even better idea. These are. Mau berapa? Dua. Siap, bos. Tiga. Tiga. Siap. Okay, dek. Hati. Ya, hati hati ya dek. Hati. <laughs> you know, I loved how the guy's first response was, I don't have money. <laughs> no problem with this business, because in this business, the bananas are for free. But, as I couldn't wait all day for people looking for free bananas, and I had already ate nine myself, I decided to venture on to see whom else I might meet down the road. Hello, bro, I found. Hello, tour. I was driving this way and Guillaume was riding that way and then we passed each other about 10 minutes ago and then I stopped here just because I needed some water and Guillaume had actually turned around and come all this way just to say hi. <laughs> so, good guy, very good guy. Makanya tadi pas saya lihat di ujung sana, ini kayaknya Christian Nelson ini kata. So guys, Guillaume is actually the first person I've met with a proper touring setup. You see, he has the boxes, the side boxes, the top box, and Yamaha R R25. R, uh, he is touring here uh, from Palangkaraya to Sampit, yeah? But he is actually from Padang. Lapar, bro. Mau pisang? Sudah. Sudah? Sudah, sudah. Oh, guys. Mau pisang? 
Eh, Ayo ambil aja. Mau? Mau semua? Satu aja. Silakan. Ya saya sudah kini ya. <laughs> Sini ya, cek ya. Ya, sama-sama TV DJ. Oke. Okay. I think I just saw another albino. That is the second I've seen here in Kalimantan. Wow, yeah. But the problem is when you're albino, then your skin, then your skin is sensitive to the sun, so they get sunburned so fast. You know, I cannot imagine how difficult it must be to be an albino here. I don't even know if it's polite to say that albino, but that's what it's called, right? All right, guys. So I made it here to Palankaraya. The last few hours have been just non-stop rain, so I had to put the cameras in the back because some of them are not waterproof. Anyway, I've made it here and I've checked in at a place called uh, Neo by Aston. It's a really, really nice hotel. You know, the location is right in the city center. Take a look at this view. We are right in the middle. That over there is like the town square they're currently rebuilding. And we have a mall just down here. We have a cinema on the third floor. So I think I'm gonna go to the cinema tonight. And yeah, we're close to like everything. So it's perfect. And check the room. It looks really nice, you know, big bed, big and spacious. Even though the hotel is not super new, it actually is in really good condition. Oh, <laughs> not wearing pants. <laughs> So the first thing I always do when I get to a new hotel is to take my riding pants off because they're so hot. Uh, sorry you had to see that. Anyway, <laughs> they even made this, you know, they prepared some fruit and check this out. Oh, so nice. Well, I will probably stay here for three, four nights because I have some editing to do as well. I want to explore the city a bit before I continue to Banjar Masin. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna unpack. Maybe put on some pants and let's see what we can find here in um, Palankaraya. Let's do it. Good morning, guys. It is my first day here in Palankaraya city. And now I'm just having some sarapan, some breakfast here in the hotel restaurant. And guys, you know, I'm generally not big on exploring big cities. I prefer to be outside of the big cities, but sometimes I have to stay here do some editing with some decent Wi-Fi and then I can continue. But I thought today let's go out into Palankaraya city, have a look around, maybe try some different foods. Because actually guys, Palankaraya is the capital of central Kalimantan. So we have to go and explore it a bit. All right guys, so I have made it here to one of probably the most iconic places in all of Palankaraya because this right here behind me is actually the beginning of Palankaraya. It is the Tugu Sukarno Monument. And it was established in 1957 by Sukarno, actually, the very first president of Indonesia. And as you can see, there are 17 pillars. And maybe, I'm actually not gonna tell you guys why there is exactly 17, but I can tell you this much. It has something to do with the very beginning of Indonesia. If you ever come to Palankaraya, this is definitely a must visit spot because it is the beginning of the capital of central Kalimantan. And did you know that when Sukarno first established or started building Palankaraya, he wanted this city to be the new capital of Indonesia. It never ended up happening and now the new capital is being built in East Kalimantan. But yeah, this was actually gonna be the capital of Indonesia. And right behind the monument, guys, you can go out here. There's a small spot where you can enjoy the view over the Kahayan River, I believe it's called. All right, guys, back to Machan, and let's see if we can find some Makan Siyan. So now I've gone to a quite famous restaurant here in Palankaraya called Kampung Lao. Uh, it looks really, really nice. It has a lot of good reviews on Google. And yeah, let's go in and try and see what kind of specialty food they serve us here in Palankaraya. Hi guys. Welcome to Palankaraya. Thank you. And the good thing is I'm here on a Friday and it's around 11, 12 o'clock. So as you can see, it is pretty much empty. I have it to myself. Sometimes it's actually difficult for me to get some alone time when I'm outside because if there's a ton of people, then half the time 
will be spent taking some selfies, uh, which I don't mind, but sometimes, you know, it's also nice to be by yourself. Wow, check this out. As some of you guys may know, I don't eat a lot of fish, but this place is favorite for its fish. So I've ordered some ikan, I've ordered some udang, and let's see how it goes. Okay guys, let's meet our table mates here. Hi guys, dari mana? Hello, uh, Borneo. Siapa namanya? Sylvie. Sylvie? Eric. Eric? <laughs> This is Clara. 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 Amora. 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 Yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, single, single. <laughs> oh, <don't> <laughs> so apparently there's a lot of bars and nightclubs here in Palangkaraya. I didn't even know that. Yeah, see you tonight. Okay. Vino. <laughs> Vino? Yeah. Tonight I'm loving you. <laughs> oh, tonight, tonight you're loving me? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, see you, yeah? Thank you so yeah. much. So basically what I've gotten is I've gotten some fish, some ikan, some shrimp and something called soup santan i ordered this because i've never tried it before it's kind of this milky soup but made from coconut so this is what i'll try first and it tastes a lot different than i thought <laughs> i can't taste any coconut i can just taste there's corn in it and there is a ton of sugar all right gotta try something new today yeah and then let's try the udang this looks good though and look how massive they are, the shrimps. Mm. And that is really, really good. Let's try the fish. But this is, look at this massive plate. This is white fish, as you can see, and it's been grilled, no bones, and it's really good. Besides the long waiting time, and that the soup has probably half a kilo of sugar in it, <laughs> I would say, yeah, I would recommend this place. Abba. Eventually my new table mates couldn't hold back their curiosity any longer, so we spend the rest of the lunch together. But if there's one thing we must never forget here in Indonesia, it's kopi. So I set out to find a famous spot I had found online. Now I've stopped here at a small coffee place in Palangkaraya called Toko Kopi Santai. It reminds me a little bit of like a Jakarta, even Jakarta kind of cafe, very very santai so let me just quickly show you guys inside so the plan is that tomorrow i'm gonna continue toward banjarmasin because actually a lot of you have been commenting chris why are you in such a rush this time and i'm not in a rush to travel kalimantan but as you can imagine the distances in between the cities here in kalimantan is just greater than it was in sumatra in sumatra you can drive 100 kilometers and you're to the next big town but here in Kalimantan, it's like maybe 250 or 350 kilometers in between. That's why I'm moving such great distances. So now I'm sitting right here. Hello, guys. Hello. <laughs> they went absolutely nuts when I came in here the first time. So I'm just sitting here right now, getting some ice latte. And that's gonna be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode and stay tuned for the next one where I head to Banjarmasin. As always, massive shout out to my Orang Bike members as well. I will see you guys in the next one and until next time. Bye guys.